Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI, continuing our deity run as Alexander here. And as you can see, we are knocking on the doors of Neapolis, which I think, I guess we can check here, right? Um, I don't really want to make peace. But, got those two. Yeah, we can't see the last city. We can't grab the last city. So that has to be her last one. And we knew it was her capital, so I knew it was a good chance it was. I do want to come over here and take out this city if we have a chance to, because um, getting a free China city without having to go to war with China, I will accept that. That would not be bad. Um, I'm hoping they also, I and mean, we have 11 turns. We don't have a ton of turns, but we do have 11, which, you know, gives us a little bit of time to maybe sneak over there. Uh, we need to finish off the one we're working on now, though. That is the most important. I'm just going to try and just move you over this direction. Uh, you're building a fort. have one give us the boost why not and then we'll save you for the rest for some railroads and stuff hmm and i knew you were gonna do some damage to us but that is what it is all right so good campus give us some error score we got some square rigging who cares we're not doing sea based okay this will knock out the walls that is huge and then you're gonna do you know a decent amount of damage and then these guys should be able to without fear and I think next turn we can start moving the bombards over uh, to the city. Um, did you get enough for a promotion? You did. So we'll be able to get you promoted up to get you some free healing along the way. Um, actually, taking the city. Let me see. What was the condition for getting free heals? A wonder. Okay. Um, I don't see one, so I don't think we're going to get the free heal from taking the city, unfortunately. But that's okay. We will be all right. Uh, the campus is done. I mean, if we're going to make this a science place, we should just work our way down and just do all the science stuff here. And you are the knight who is going to move over this way. You're going to start making your way this way. You're going to make your way over here. I just want to take a peek. There's Hungary. Uh, I might need to get my nose in there just to make sure they don't surround it and I don't have an opening to, to get a unit in there to attack. So we'll do that. It is under siege at the moment. Hopefully they do spend some time attacking and save me the trouble. But obviously I still need to do the final attack myself. Actually, do I have a way to pillage here? Pillage the road, but I don't think that helps us. Uh, Knight, again. 3.7. I mean, once we take Neapolis, it will help this city. I just don't know how well Neapolis will be. Uh, you're going to heal up. You can move up to the front, maybe. I need to get you guys upgraded at some point here soon, hopefully. Um, I mean, we'll still do the mines on the planes because it's still going to be useful to us, but I'm disappointed I couldn't put my industrial zone right there, but this might still be a decent industrial zone once it's all said and done. Uh, you're going to make your way over to Provka, maybe, because I want to start building railroads probably from that side of things here soon. Honestly, you might need to go up to here, actually. We can kind of wake your way up. Make sure we have plenty of things connected. Uh, no, we're going to refuse that. And... Oh, you are healing back up, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, we can take this out right now. You have a promotion, you do not. So let's take it with this. Or not. We'll take it with the guy that's got a promotion, which is unfortunate, but... Better than nothing. All right, so there you go. You're gone. Five error score for that. Uh, there's the Great Wall of China. So that is China over here. So that's who was... who. Uh... Oh, no, this is a very well-protected city. Wow, look at this thing. It's got a nice, very nice campus as well. All right, we'll take it. Surely you're okay now. No? Maybe it just hasn't updated. Probably just hasn't updated yet. Um... I need to start moving these guys over, although I'm only going to be able to move one of you in there. And of course, that's going to be the one with the uh, the army. Um, what can I move you to? I need to get these knights out of the way. Um, over here. Over here. You come over there. 
I'll move you most of the way, or part of the way, I should say, and then take your promotion. Oh, plus one range. No, I can get you both up there. Uh, I forgot you were ready for that one. Nice. That means I can get you up there. That is hugely helpful. Uh, we will be keeping that city. Especially with that campus. That, that city is worth keeping with for the campus alone. But of course, strategically, I think it's good to have it. Um, I don't think we need the walls uh, as much here in Pella. I don't. I mean, if we lose Pella, then I've done something really, really wrong. So I'm not planning on losing Pella, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, we could send an aid request, get some Diplo points, I suppose. At least get on the chart. Get a little bit of Diplo favor. One round of aid would be, you know, something. Although, I just don't know if it matters that much. Eh, why not? We'll do one round. Just get on the list. Make our name up there. And then go from there. You finished your industrial zone. We do want to get the workshop. I do want to get the granary. Get some more growth here. Help us out. Uh, same kind of thing with you. Probably the granary first. Uh, we're actually going to buy the granary. Since you don't have it built yet. I wish you could buy repairs. That would be incredibly nice. Uh, we'll do the monument. Make sure we got some hopeful loyalty coverage. Um, honestly, it's not bad. 2-4 tile. Not, it's not a bad tile. We'll go ahead and do that. You are doing the production there. A lot of good production over here from these cities if we get them set up properly. Uh, I do need to get the line infantry up here, which will be a little hard. We might have to take the city with the cavalry, to be fair, because it's going to be hard once we get the bombards in there to get the line infantry in place. These, these uh, knights still just can't do anything until I get them upgraded. I mean, I could switch over and upgrade them now, but that's five turns, and I really want to see where Cole is, get that rolling, and then we can worry about that. Plus, getting some railroads set up would help me get my army from left to right a lot easier. Um, I'll take a linguist. A bit less time to set up, do missions, whatever it was. Uh, military engineer, you're chilling until we get industrialization, and hopefully... Oh, wait, this isn't the railroad one, is it? Red one's after that, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have to have steam power as well. Which may mean, honestly... I just feel like our guys are useless without this. We're going to have to grab that first. We just got a bunch of useless knights, and I need them to be better. Um... I want to be friends with you again. Who is our next target? Maybe Persia. It's going to take us a while to get over there. I think it's got to be Persia. I think... I think... I mean, Persia's not weak either, to be fair. No, oh, we're going to say no, but... I don't know if I care if they go to war with me right this second. I mean, it would be a little annoying if uh, Persia jumped in on this. Okay, it was just one up, one down. Failed anyway. All right, cool. All right. Repairing all of these things would be great. Uh, let's repair the you know, six, plus six science university. Yeah, I think that would be smart. Uh, hello. Hatusa. Would give us coal if we don't have it. We don't know yet. A little extra culture coming in wouldn't be bad, but... We don't have the points for it to go all the way up to that. I mean, I could have this right now, which would be nice. You know what? Why not? Let's go for it. Since I, since it is something we can have for us, uh, let's move you up there to put up a mill there. You're still chilling a little bit longer this time because I did not go down the route of going to the railroads yet. You're going to move up one. Start bombarding. I've got to be careful with this because obviously we want to make sure we're the ones that can take the city. Uh, actually, is there another way? Oh, there's another way to get over here. Um, not with a knight though. Not with a pike and shot either. I mean, it's a little bit better, but it's not great. You do have a promotion. You're gonna have to go around this way, aren't I? With all the hills and stuff. 
also have a promotion, which I can take right now. I don't know if it really matters one way or the other here. There's a river over there, technically, so we'll go that route. Uh, Mr. Spy. So I got sources for a bit longer. I mean, I could do another siphon funds to get some more upgrade or uh, level ups. I also get uh, refinement boosts. 84%. It's not bad. We'll go with that. Tech boosts are usually pretty good. And it looks like we are completely covered on the loyalty over here. Barely. Honestly, only because of Victor over here. But it counts. You're you're in a good spot, actually. Um, we just need to get some more growth over here to be able to stave off any other int issues. I'm just going to hook up this other mine, I think. Um, I just don't know if it's worth moving you over there. I don't think you're... You're just not strong enough. Once we get these guys to Curasars, I'd be okay with moving these guys over there, but just not yet. I mean, it's possible I can move you over there now and run away if I need to. Look at all these tile yields. All right, I'm going to move... Oh, that's not great with that right there. No, I don't think I can take a double hit. I could be wrong, but I don't think I can. All right, military engineer, you're honestly probably going to move over to here. Let's start the railroad from up that side, maybe. Not th uh, to be fair, though, not that I need to rail it up there, but we might as well start somewhere. Otherwise, I'd have to backtrack and come back and get it. They did just get a line infantry over here. That's going to be a little bit problematic. Hopefully, you stick around and help me out here, my friend. So there's nationalism. That is a big deal. Um, what do you have inside of you? You have, yeah, you just have Think Camera. You don't even have the army or anything like that. You have finished your stuff, though. I can start buying some units back here. For example, I could buy some line infantry. I don't want to buy line infantry cores. I want to buy line infantry singletons to move up there to go with our guys that are already built up. It's not cheap, and it's going to take them a while to get up there, but at least this guy will be, you know, really well upgraded. A lot, a lot of XP, I should say. Start with that. And um, the governor title there might be useful. Obviously, we got to start working our way up to this stuff. But let's just grab that since it's already boosted. You finish the library. Let's just go straight into the university. We're going to make you a science center. Uh, your housing's okay, so we don't need to repair the aqueduct right away. The production is terrible so we will repair the water mill um what do i want here i mean amani moving amani up could be helpful um getting some more gold coming in could be helpful as well from her with uh oh never mind she doesn't, she's already got this tax collector that's the one I was thinking of. Um, eh, I mean, Pingala could be useful for um, our city over here that's trying to build up some science. Perhaps. I mean, we got to start catching up on science at this point anyway. We've got to get up to some of the stuff that's going to help us. I mean, the guys are ahead of us. There's people ahead of us. I get that. We've got to be able to catch up. Um, so I think that's still useful. Um, wish there was a thing here. Produce loyalty, but I don't know if that... I don't know if loyalty gives us XP or not. I think it does. But I don't know for sure. At some point, we do want the listening post. It's just still tech boost. Let's see if we can get that. Rocketry would be a huge one. That's uh, that's rocket artillery, right? There. He's already up to rocketry. Oh. Wow. I, I'm not sure if I thought Corvinus would be the one that would be pushing up there. And he's what, over here somewhere? Yeah, because this is his units. Oh, he's down here. Oh, we really need the city. He might need to be our next target. His military strength is not great. Yeah, we really need the city then.
Not going to be easy, though. Loyalty is going to be so incredibly hard here. Completely surrounded. Um, I'm tempted to just buy us another a bard here. It's not going to have all the upgrades, but this guy's already got some of the level ups. And I think that's the right move. Um, technically, this would pop out here. I don't know if there's really any difference between the two, to be honest. <laughs> They're both not great uh, where they pop out at. We'll just buy one here. Um, I don't want to core you guys up just yet, because you guys at least got some promotion, some XP moved up. I'd rather just turn you into your own cores. Getting another cavalry. Although he would have a hard time getting up there and merging with that guy. Honestly, you know what? We're just going to do out of the uh, line of tree up here as well. Get him group up with this guy that's already got three promotions, and that will be, be okay. All right. Three, two more turns, we start leveling those guys, or upgrading those guys, is what I'm trying to say. Another pike and shot could be useful, but honestly, the pike and shot's not going to be useful by itself until it becomes something better, probably. Although a second one would give us, what, seven? Is it eight? No, no, the first, the core is 10, isn't it? That makes it 65. That actually would be useful. Let's do that. Can we have... Uh, we have to move you out. Might as well use our money for something. Yeah, because you're at 55 now. Yeah, 65. Okay, that's right. It's 10 and 7 after that, isn't it? It's been a while since I've actually looked at the core and, and stuff. But yeah. I remember when I first saw that, I thought it was not good. And the reason I thought it was not good, I was like, we're already at 55. What is 10 more going to do? And then I... I looked up the math and the math, the way it works is it's, it's really, it's less about how much strength you have, you, how much strength you have is completely irrelevant. It's how much your strength is relative to the person you're attacking. That's where the, the difference comes in. Um, so if you have, if they have 72 strength, for example, on the city and I've only got 55 strength, that's the difference there is seven, what, uh, 17, right? Yeah. Um, which is a big difference. They're going to do a lot more damage to us. We're not going to do any damage to them. But if we bring that up by 10, now the difference is only seven. Much, much bigger difference uh, in, in overall strength comparison. So in case you didn't know, it is all about relative strength, not um, like strength in a vacuum, if you will. Um, I still need you to get over here to kind of come up in this way. I'm going to move you partway and then get you, you promoted up. We're going to move you as we can, I guess. I guess I could have grouped you up with this core, but I think I'd rather just do the guy with three already. All right, you're still trying to make your way to the front. I forgot I had you coming, to be honest. But honestly, another bombard would be very useful. So I'm not I'm not against the fact that we have another one here. Uh, making another core would be a really good idea. This is not. It's taking a while. Slowing us down. I mean, I think we'll get it. I'm pretty confident we'll get it, but definitely slowing us down more than I would like. I feel more comfortable you moving up now. Since you're a little bit stronger. You're moving up to there. Turn that guy into a core. You're going to help catch up with this guy. But she can now core now. Uh, you're moving up. Apparently, you can move all the way up to the front, huh? Well, then let's move you out of there. Let's move you over to the side over here. Uh, in fact, we'll just move you back here, maybe. Move you up to the front. All right, starting to feel a little bit better about things. One more turn, we get you guys upgraded, so we'll move you back and be ready to do that. Do we have this thing in place? We do, and I've probably left that in way too long, but that's okay. Um, uh, eight has been sent. Are we at least on the list? I mean, we're at least on the list. Uh, I mean, we can send a little bit more and take bronze, I guess, but I don't know if it really matters. And I don't want to send enough to make gold. That's just not, that is worth it to me. Apparently Great Zimbabwe would not take us that long, huh? I had not noticed that that was like that close, to be honest. Um, well, let's do this then. Let's buy us a builder by moving you out. What are you doing? Oh, you need a great writing. Whatever. We'll just move you over there. Let's buy us a builder. To go chop that spot right there. Man, we'll build us a great Zimbabwe if we can. Why not? Gold. Trade routes. I like both of those. 
Until then, let's build a spy. More spies could help us track down some of our other baddies, make sure they keep their rocket stuff in check, which is literally the only thing that's going to stop us. I'm 100% comfortable with every victory type against us, except for that one. That is the one that dings us. <laughs> that's the, that hurts me every time. Um, I'll bring one of these, because if we build more units, we will have that. You're good there. Uh, Knight, one more turn, my friend. You can start pillaging some stuff, I suppose. Get us a little bit of money. I mean, we'll have to repair it back later, but eh, why not? Let's get us something coming. I'd say a little bit of culture would be nice. All right, trader here. Ah, oh, 19, please. Sounds great. All right, you're just going to try and slowly but surely make your way to the front lines. Uh, seven turns isn't terrible. You'll get there. Oh, my troops literally are passing by. Oh, I, it's because we're not allies right now. Which, I don't know that we... I might as well. Honestly, just one less thing you have to worry about loyalty from. I think I'm okay with this. I'm not planning on flipping his stuff through loyalty anytime soon. I don't think I could. I think he's too too tough for me for that in that regard. All right, we'll go up to steam power. Get us the railroad. We really need to get it because our our empire is so wide right now. Um, armory and shipyard are both about the same as far as how much production they give, but. Other than that, I think we're just going to do the armory. Um, do one of those, please. You were... What were you doing? Oh, you were just going to hook up the lumber mill. Make that a 2-4 tile. You were chilling until we get railroads, which is still a ways away. You were going to come chop that. Um, I guess we'll finish off the spy a little bit. And then we're actually going to ch change you over. I don't need the spy as... Urgently as getting Great Zimbabwe would be. It'd be nice. 15 turns is a little bit longer than I would like. But we can hook up some of these other things. Get us a little bit more production coming in. You are still... Do we even have anything? We still don't have anything for you to connect to, my friend. So just chill. Um, anything not hooked up? Some whales over here that still haven't been expanded to. Some horses down here. Actually, that would be some decent production. All right, you are upgrading 75 gold. 75 gold. Probably should start buying out some Curasars. All right, at least they're all quite a bit stronger now. How much would it cost us to buy some Curasars? 880. Oh, trade route. Um... We'll build one in a minute. I don't know if I want to spend all of our money. I mean, is there anything else I need to use my money for right now? Oh, I do need another bombard. If I'm going to get a, another bombard coming through here, which is this one. Then I do want you to make sure you're a core. So that is okay. Uh, you are moving up to there. Uh, after I fire, I will see if I can group you up. Doing some damage. That'll help quite a bit. Um, you're still moving up to the front lines, slowly but surely. These Curasars can actually get in there now. I feel more comfortable with that since they're at 64 strength. Although I would like to, you know what? I don't know. I like all these knights. There <laughs> are these uh, cavalry units. Might as well keep them. Now you're gonna pillage some culture for us. Thank you. They should get us some science. Also get us some vision of Hungary over here. Not going to be easy. 80 strength already. But we've kind of got to do it. Don't think we have much choice. No one else is quite there yet. A couple of people are, you know, researched at least. And they could start growing really, really fast in that area. But 
Yeah, we've got to turn our attention against China. I mean, thankfully, his units are pretty low. It's just, and China's actually really weak right now, too. We might let that expire. But we just really need to get, we need to move on. Honestly, with three cores, or I guess one army, but two other core bombards, probably okay against an 80-strength city. Um, I do need to see what how long it would take us to get to artillery, though. Because obviously that would be a huge help. Um, I'm going to move you in here. I'm going to move you... Oh, you can do more culture. So we will let you do more culture. You're going to move around. You're going to move into there. We are surrounding it now. Okay, good. As, as long as we're surrounding it, I wanted to make sure that was the case. Finish that up. Uh, you're going to move into there. Uh, we might be able to take the attack now, actually. I just realized. Had I not... Yeah. All right, cool. That is a, strategically that is huge. That gives us some way to get at Hungary because if we didn't have that, it would be really hard for us to go after Hungary, and we have to. He's like the one that is the most problematic right now. We're not going to liberate the Scythia, as funny as that would be. Um, you finish the shipyard. Yeah, we'll just do a trader real quick, and we'll go from there. But oh, successfully evaded. Okay, good. All righty. Um. don't know. We just need to get our way up to mobilization. Armies will make a huge difference for us. Building two field cannons, I can do. Growing city to 15 pop. I'm actually surprised we haven't done that yet. 13 pop here. Yeah, we're just not not growing very fast. Um, you've already got the aqueduct. Huh. All right, well, well, we'll keep at it, but the two field cannons we can definitely do. Eight eighty a piece. I mean, it would take us a few turns, but we can get them and save us a few few cycles here. Is there anything else I want to get right this second? Probably build one and buy one. And uh, we can hold off on the buying until we know for sure we've got the build one ready to go. All right. Um, kind of think some walls here, especially since we got that right there, could be pretty useful. I do want to move Victor up. Because I think he will help us out quite a bit up here. Oh, we do have a governor title as well. Um, Honestly, maybe just keep going up Pingala route. Although the city's in right now is not very high on population. Only six. So that's not going to help us as much as it could otherwise. Wrong button. Um, so we probably will hold off on for that for now. All right, we got the aquaculture stuff. That could be useful. I haven't done that in a while. Um, hmm. a little bit of extra gold. Honestly, um, I'm gonna grab you probably. Work our way up to puppeteer. I feel like that will be useful to us. All right, uh, you are working on the walls. That's fine. You are chop at this. You just did that. Guess I will hook something up over here to give us a little bit more production. Although it's not going to help us that much, to be fair, because um, it's already got a lot of production there. Oh, we do have. Wait, is that real? Oh yeah, that's the culture thing we just did. You can transfer to here and go in there. Some cursors. Honestly, once I get this building done, I might pop out a few. Let's 
So he's not going to be easy with the uh, encampment right there. I mean, I could put one of my bombards obviously out of range. Actually, in that district, maybe. And then the other two would have to move up to maybe over here or something like that. So only one of them. Oh, actually, it would have to be here and here. Still, only one of them would technically be damageable. So I was going to look and see when I can get artillery. It's pretty far up there. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. Uh, we got another city, that though, guys. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And we're ready to go after Hungary here soon-ish. He's still pretty weak militarily, militarily so I feel like we're going to be okay. Um, but 80 strength is quite a bit more than 71. I mean, it makes a difference. Like I said, if we, it's all about that difference. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.